Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen. I am a Taurus Sun and Venus. We are going to get right into this reading. I do want to mention that, yes, I am available for personal readings and Reiki sessions. If you've had a reading or Reiki session from me, please put it in the comments down below so people can see. And I want to give a big, big thank you to those of you who have gotten personal readings or Reiki from me and the beautiful reviews you have left on my booking site. They literally bring me to tears. And as long as I've been doing this, um, I have, uh, I, I mean, I can't believe I'm saying this, but there's a ton of reviews on the booking site and all of them you can rate it by stars right one to five i have never had anything less than a five star review and i want to thank you all for that you know as readers we need confirmation too that we're giving you the right information so thank you all right let's get into this reading here Ooh, divine source creator what is the overall energy for this reading for taurus sun moon rising venus and north node show us clearly please show us clearly what is the message thank you the overall energy Woo. not taking all those but we are going to take the one that is face up all right so we have here um this is the judgment card okay this is the judgment card and it says in the moment of truth call upon the forces of spirit and mind to make correct decisions so there is a choice coming for you to be for you to make okay there's a choice it's time to make a decision and it needs to be kind of a final decision here so the reason i say that is because the bottom of the deck we have the death card all right so that's change right that's big change so because we have this judgment card uh, which would be like a fork in the road i have to make this decision and i really think that this decision almost forces you into a new way of being, okay? So it's not like it's bad, okay? I do not feel bad. It's just there is going to be a choice for you. There's going to be something in your life that comes up and you have to make the decision on where you want to go with this. So let's say you're interviewing for two jobs and they both want to hire you. It's time to make a decision, Let's say there's uh, two people you're interested in that you're dating. It's time to make a decision. Um, it's going to be different for all of you, Taurus, because you're all dealing with different things. But I think that... I think that you might want to ask your spiritual team and the divine to give you a sign. Now, that's not to say don't trust yourself right? Embrace this change. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. But you might be asking for some sort of sign from your spiritual team to say, give me a little bit of direction on this, right? Give me a little bit of direction on this. Because I don't think you're second guessing yourself. I just feel like with the bottom of the deck, again, you've got the wheel of fortune, okay? Um, Yeah, it says right here, it is time for a new direction. You decide how to create your life. I, I think you're just looking for some sort of little itty bitty sign, right, from spirit. And I think you get it, right? I think you get it nice and clear. Like, uh, you can be very specific in that. Like, if I'm supposed to make this decision, you know, put a feather in my path. But a lot of you aren't going to actually need the physical sign you're going to say, hey, put it to your spiritual team. Hey, I'm asking you to show me the way on this. And you're going to get a feeling more so than a physical sign. Like it's just going to hit you like, ah, yes. Ooh, see, I just got the chills. Yes, this is the direction I need to go in. Now, you guys know I'm always saying, ask your spiritual team to show you the way. Right? Show me the way. And you can be very specific or you can be very general on that. Show me the way to my next job. Show me the way to my next love, right? But I really feel like you're asking them, hey, show me the way. I have got a fork in the road. I need to make a decision. I think you already know what the right decision is. 
but you might be just like looking for that little extra. Trust yourself here, okay? Trust yourself because we've got the card here with Pluto. Pluto went into Aquarius. That is uh, expansion and change and um, uh, regeneration and transformation, big transformation, right? And you've also got Jupiter down here, right? And Jupiter is prosperity in your life. So this is going to end, right, with the death card, end something that is no longer good for you. Doesn't mean it was bad, but it's no longer good for you. There's bigger and better on the horizon here. You just have to make the choice. Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus, show me clearly, please. Show me clearly, please. Show me clearly. What is the message? Yeah, look at that. You can't make that up. you got to make a decision. And you have to trust. Okay? There is opportunity coming. There is some decision you have to make. It might be a little... It might be a little heartbreaking. And I don't mean that in a bad way. But it's like, because they're showing me somebody like getting on a ship and waving goodbye to the, their loved ones. But they're not saying goodbye forever. They're saying, I just, I have to go on this voyage kind of thing. But this brings you, this new opportunity brings you like a lot of peace <laughs> is the word that they're giving me, peace. So again, with the two of wands, you are making a decision. And with the two of wands, he's holding the world in his hand. So he is creating the world that he wants to live in. He's molding it and shaping it by the decisions he's making. He's leaving this old wand behind for a new wand, right? For new inspiration. And it's almost like, it's kind of bittersweet, right? It's kind of bittersweet. That's what I'm getting. But it's the right move for you, okay? It is absolutely the right move for you. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus, please? Oof, that is so many. Show me clearly. Thank you. All right. Yeah, it's been a tough battle, right? It's to get to this point. But we do have the death card twice now. So this is done. Okay? It's almost like... I've tried and I've tried and I've tried to make this life work and it's kind of exhausting me and it doesn't, it doesn't inspire me anymore. This way of life does not inspire me anymore. Okay. Again, I am not surprised with this because of uh, channeling this reading in April of 2024. So many major changes for Taurus, and not just Taurus, but really big major ma major changes for Taurus in your perspective and how you look at things, what you're willing to continue to do, and what you find that if I continue to do this, it's not worth it. There's nothing for me at the end. So choosing the new beginning here. Beautiful. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node. Show me clearly. What is the message? Show me clearly for Taurus. What is the message here? Look at that. That moon came out kind of kind of all over the place, right? I, there is a new path for you to follow. Okay, there's a path here. There is a new path for you to follow, and it's going to be revealed to you. And it might be quite shocking. Um, and I don't mean shocking in a bad way. It's almost like, me? You want me to go on this path? It's kind of like, all right. This <laughs> spirit's funny. Uh, uh, when I was like 19, I want to say, somewhere around 19, my used crappy car hand-me-down car piece of crap finally died and my father was trying to teach me about money I guess and so we went to the used car lot back in the day and uh, 
there was like this Ford Fiesta or something, right? A little tiny car that was for sale that was definitely in my price range and whatnot, and the payments would have been low and all that stuff. However, as salespeople do, they showed, they showed me that within my budget, I could afford a shiny, pretty Mustang, Ford Mustang, you know, and I was like, yeah, right? But I was so surprised that, that, that it's like, really? I can have that? Like, I can have that, right? And of course, I defied my father, even I was an adult, but I defied him because he's like, go for the cheaper. And I was like, no, give me the shiny red Mustang. It's okay to go for the shiny red Mustang. Okay? It's okay to go for the shiny red Mustang. <laughs> okay? You're, you're ready for this. Oh, I love that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> How great is that? Oh, we're taking all of this. Okay. Okay. So we have the Queen of Wands and the Judgment card. I know that was kind of reversed, but I'm just getting like, here's the decision again. So we've got two Judgment cards out, two Death cards. You are being called up to make a decision that's going to resurrect your life in a very positive way. It puts you in a position of power and of good luck, right? We have the good luck with the Wheel of Fortune here, good luck with the Black Cat. This is, doesn't matter if you're male or female, this energy of the Queen of Wands is you attracting in just amazing things, brilliant, shiny new things, shiny new things for Taurus, right? And you're taking control, right? We've got, it's so funny, we've got the four here, this is being channeled in April. April, the beginning of April, right, is this, or we are in the season of Aries. Aries rules the first house of I am. The North Node is in Aries, so this is all about you doing what's best for you. It is not selfish at all. I want you to know that. It is not selfish at all. But it is you being like, yep, give me the shiny new thing. Oh, my goodness. Look at the bottom of the deck. Just having the material things, having the legacy, and this is a great card for love too, right? Building a fantastic lifelong relationship with somebody. This is, yeah, you are definitely making, look at this, and the magician, wow. You are definitely creating something very magical for yourself here. And it's almost like in the beginning, remember when I was like, you're asking your spiritual team to show you the way they are, but it's almost like, I feel like some of you are asking yourselves if you're deserving of this. You are. I know a lot of you are going to put it in the comments like, no, no, I'm, I'm deserving. We can say that, but this goes deeper into subconscious, right? Like, I think you might finally be coming around, Taurus, to knowing that you are very much deserving of a bigger, more spectacular life here. This is beautiful. All of this is beautiful. I love it. Show me clearly for Taurus, please. What is the message for Taurus? What is the message for Taurus, please? Show me clearly. Music. <laughs> Express yourself by playing an instrument or singing. Music will lift your spirits. That is hysterical. I am going to tell you all right now why I find this hysterical. This morning, I was going through a little grief. My life is changing also. There are things that I am letting go of. And I was a little sad this morning. It's okay to be sad. Um, and I went into an old news feed of mine, right? And a song from like five years ago came on. And I was listening to it. And it just made me feel so good. I will tell you, music heals and music puts us in a great mood. And I just feel like some of you are, I love this, are going to walk to the beat of your own drum. Some of you are going to start truly walking to the beat of your own drum. Oh, I love it. Show me clearly, please. What is the, what is the message? Show me clearly. What is the message? That's too many. Can I just have one or two, please? Oh, that's funny. Show me clearly. I love this. I love this. It's home and it says it's time to renovate or change in your home environment or move to a new home. I told you, like this movement. You just have to make the decision to do it. Okay? You're, see, I told you about your guides. 
your spirit guides are here to help you communicate with your spirit guides today. Just ask them for a quick sign. Sometimes that sign is just an overwhelming feeling, Ace of Cups, of yes, I have to go into this direction. Yes, I deserve the shiny new thing. It's beautiful, Taurus. So with that being said, don't forget to like, share, comment. I read each and every one and all of my love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time, Taurus.